hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series review. We've got Ezra Bridger here, in brackets, Lothal. Uh, this is from Star Wars Ahsoka. Uh, we did see him in the first episode in this sort of appearance. Uh, it was just via Sabine's hologram. Um, but yeah, this is more like a uh, realistic interpretation of uh, Ezra from Season 3 and 4 of Rebels. Which is awesome to see. I love that outfit. And uh, I think from what I can see so far, they've cast a good likeness to, to someone that I, I'd, you know, recognize as uh, an Ezra Bridger in live action. I think he looks quite good. We have sort of seen the actor in, in Ahsoka, um, an older Ezra with, with beard and mustache and, you know, drab clothes and stuff like that. And, um, I think it was really well cast, so I'm looking forward to seeing more of him in action. So he's number two. So set after the fall of the Empire, Ahsoka follows former Jedi Knight Ahsoka Tano as she investigates an emerging threat to a vulnerable galaxy. That's not so much about Ezra as it is just a blurb about the series, so... Um, yeah, in packaging, he's looking pretty good. Loving having the bubbles, honestly. Seeing, being able to see the figure. Um... And yeah, I was pretty lucky with the plastic free packaging. I uh, didn't fare too badly um, with any sort of mispaints. paints, so, but I did see some horrendous ones out there. But uh, yeah, this is my first one from the Ahsoka series. I did see uh, Morgan Elspeth and the HK87 droid. Probably going to skip on the HK. Um, Morgan, I will be picking up, and uh, the rest, Sabine Ahsoka, not yet released. So we'll see. Let's open them up and have a look. And here is young Ezra Bridger out of the packaging, also known as Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> little, little joke there from the series, from the Rebel series. He's looking pretty good. I'm digging it. I think he looks good. Um, accessory wise, he does come with blaster pistol, which can obviously be holstered. It's a, just a repaint of a Han Solo DL44, but it works, it's fine. I can't remember him using it too much. He was very sort of lightsaber combat oriented. And we have his lightsaber and hilt and blade. Looks like that will come out. So I can't tell whether this is his, you know, uniquely designed hilt or whether it's the sort of modified Sabine lightsaber hilt. Um, obviously she did have his lightsaber and she made some modifications to it herself um but yeah not being super familiar with the design um yeah not sure what to say yet we'll wait until we've got the sabine but yeah i wouldn't blame them if they just sort of repack this but there are some grooves in the blade you may be able to just see them so they sort of lock in there it won't cause the blade to spin but there is a little hook which looks like it will go nicely over there and it's a nice long hook on the belt there too so that's not going to fall off or anything as opposed to some other figures that have just had like a a little peg that you hang it on so that's kind of nice i like that so that's cool uh, blaster should realistically fit in the holster there should whether the uh, scopes will sort of sit on the outside of it. All right, it's not a it's not a perfect fit. I may swap that out for another different a different blaster that will fit, or I'll play with it a little bit more. It may get it to fit, but it doesn't look like it. So that's a little bit out of place there. Um, you know, given that they put a hole in the bottom of the holster. Um, so yeah, I'll probably swap that out for something similar. Because I don't know that he actually used the uh, exact sort of DL44 replica, but nevertheless, let's talk about the figure. And the head sculpt's pretty nice. I think that looks reasonably good. A little bit of that sort of sweaty shine to his face, but it's not too bad. You see, you do get a little bit of that gloss from his eyes does have his scars there on the cheek. But yeah, definitely wearing his sort of iconic 
it's a yellow and orange look. It's sort of got the hair sort of slicked back there as well. Which kind of, pretty much kind of resembles the uh, the three D model for the, from the series from season t uh, three and four. It was a much more simpler simpler sort of design to to Ezra when he had sort of longer shaggier hair in season one and two. But it's got some cool cool elements. Not a bad looking figure at all. Like I think this one's pretty solid. I'm not seeing any issues with it at the moment. I do like the uh, the yellow on the on the sort of shoulder armor there, or the chest armor. That looks kind of nice. It's a standard sort of brown pants. Got some armor at the knees there, which is cool. That looks good. Boots. He's definitely sort of stuck with the similar sort of color scheme throughout the years. Interested to see whether he gets back in the orange in, in Ahsoka. I'm about to go and watch episode 7. But just for, just for pur purposes, I uh, did bring in season 1 Ezra here to do a bit of comparison. Obviously this is a little bit more sort of modeled on for a lot realistic interpretation of a animated character, whereas this one is... Yeah, it's like kind of kind of the same thing, but not. They've kind of designed it on a. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the same but different. But um, yeah, you can sort of see Rock and the Orange and the Browns. In terms of height, they're pretty close. Definitely, uh, you know, there was probably a good good year between season two and three. I think. I'm not sure how chronologically that works but definitely sort of grew up between season two and three still even on this one there's a little bit of a sort of the purpley bluish sort of tinge to his hair but now he's just gone like slick black maybe there is a little bit of I might be I might be making that up I almost feel like there is a little bit of like a tinge of purple shading in there but it could just be the light um so articulation ball jointed head so it gets some good range ball joint in the neck there ball hinge and butterfly joints in the shoulders ball hinge in the elbows nice range of movement there ball hinge in the wrist that one comes in and out this one appears to go up and down so just the lower torso joint there which is nice i like i do like when they can do that not Sacrifice the sculpt for the mid mid sort of joints. Uh, he does still have the leg joints there, whereas some of the, the spinning joints have been phased out. I'm not sure whether it's been uh, reused from another figure or not, but that's fine. Good joint there in the knee, and then ankles with a rocket joint as well. So he's got all the all the articulation you want from a black series figure these days but yeah I'm definitely hoping for some like more season 2 Rebels characters you know we'd love to see you know Kanan in black series I know they're getting a lot of I know we're getting a lot of them in um three and three quarter with the, with the Haslab ghost including Ezra but yeah he's a nice looking figure I do I do like this one a lot it's just and it's exciting to have something from a new from a new thing so soon we're usually stuck waiting 18 months for stuff from new properties but they've managed to uh have some good lead time so good on Hasbro good as good on Lucasfilm for giving Hasbro some lead time to get these figures out as the show's still airing which is which is really, really great. Would love to see more of that going forward. So I'd definitely love to hear your thoughts, guys. Please sound out down below. Is this how you envision a realistic Ezra Bridger? Or do you have something slightly different in mind? I think they've done a good job. But yeah, a little bit of a pity about that blaster issue there. Yeah, you can, that needs something else to go in that 
go in that holster, something that fits. So I'm going to do some research, see if I've got some extra weapons and uh, swap that out before I put him on display. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Definitely hope to have some more reviews for you very soon with some of these newer, newer Ahsoka themed figures, as well as some of the Clone Wars sort of wave that's coming out so soon as well. Um, yeah, so stay tuned, come hang out, and we'll see you on another video real soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.